Each year, nearly 200 workers are killed at work and more than 100,000 workers are compensated for serious work-related injuries. Preventable work-related injuries and illnesses costs the Australian economy an estimated $61.8 billion each year. As a national policy body, Safe Work Australia shapes healthier, safer and productive workplaces. We do this by developing and improving national work health and safety and workers' compensation arrangements. Our 15 Safe Work Australia members form an inclusive tripartite forum. Members work together to ensure the interests of Commonwealth, State and Territory governments, workers and employers are considered. An agency of just over 100 staff supports the work of Safe Work Australia. We are a small agency, but our work can affect the lives of 12.5 million working Australians. During the 2017-18 financial year, we focused on three major bodies of work. We delivered the mid-term review of the Australian Work Health and Safety Strategy, a national approach that continues to guide the strategic direction of work health and safety into the year 2022. We commenced a review of the model work health and safety laws, examining how the laws are operating in practice and if they are meeting their objectives. We received over 130 online submissions, along with valuable feedback collected during face-to-face -face consultations. The review has now been completed. We look forward to sharing the outcomes once WHS ministers have had time to consider it. The third major body of work saw us review and revise 10 model codes of practice. In addition to this, we continued to produce nationally consistent guidance materials on a range of topics, including managing the risks of working in heat, work-related psychological health and safety, and the management of psychological claims. We also completed nationally consistent policy approaches to support explosives regulation. We continued our work building a national evidence base through the collection, analysis and reporting of national data and research. This year, we saw more people getting involved in our National Safe Work Month and World Day for Safety and Health at Work initiatives. Our virtual communities continue to grow across all social media channels and our online engagement platform and website. We are seeing evidence that our work and the work of our stakeholders is having a positive impact on Australian workers and workplaces. Not only are we seeing a reduction in the number of traumatic injury fatalities, we've seen a decrease in the incidence rate of serious workers' compensation claims and a decrease in the incidence rate of serious musculoskeletal claims. As Safe Work Australia moves into its 10th year of operation, we'll continue our focus on delivering trusted, consistent and evidence-informed work health and safety and workers' compensation policy so that every Australian worker can lead a healthy, safe and productive working life.